Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Illusion Fox Gaming. So today we're going to do Manic Pixie Dream Realm. As the quest, uh, the pink pixie appears to be spying on some children. Happened again. I had another scary dream. Me too. And mine, a bunch of toys became a monster and chased me all over. What? I had the exact same dream. This... This can't be a coincidence. The pixies, I'll wager, they're behind it. Those beings in it, and Ilmeg, the grown-ups say we must never go near? I them. Mammy said that if you're naughty, they'll come into your dreams and drag you off to a world of nightmares. Truly, oh no, I haven't been doing my chores. I must hurry home and finish them. Hmm, seems they were right. What dilemma this is. And to think that the, they pin the blame on us. We like fun dreams, not scary ones. Give a pixie a fright stinking up like that. How can you even see me anyway? Wait, I know you. You're the new king's sapling. I've been wanting to meet you since forever. Is it not? My name is Tyr Beg, and I'm the leader of the Dream Spinners. Oh yes, I'm an expert at spinning dreams. And for this, they call me the Weaver. Though Weir and Eccentric are often thrown around too, but whatever others say, there's no place I love more than children's fun-filled dreams. But there's a problem. We've recently been shut out of the dreams. At around the same time, I received word that the that children were being racked by nightmares. So I came here to investigate, and it's just as I had feared. I suppose a few things need bear explaining. Simply put, someone's trying to ruin our precious little Meg, the Garden of Dreams, and they must be stopped. You know this You know this problem concerns mortals as well, and as an upstanding member of your kind, it pains you to see your fellows suffer from nightmares, doesn't it? But of course it does, and that's why you'll lend me your aid. Without further ado, then, let's set to work solving this problem. Come with me to the place called Solon West of here. We're going to rendezvous with another ally. Okay, okay. We can do that. It's gotta be a hunt.
Oh, you came. You really came. It's true what they say. The king's sapling is as kind as she is strong. Right then, our ally should be around here somewhere. In case you're wondering, it's Porksy. Those pig-like familiars and one that has a fondness for nightmares. My new Mo acquaintance who alerted me to the strangeness in the children's dream has sent to it to aid us. Did someone say nightmares? It's enormous! Well, of course I'm enormous. It would be impossible to contain all my cuteness otherwise. Nor your vanity, it seems. Ah, but where are my manners? As L2 Dream Devourer Extraordinaire at your service, you show me your nightmare and I'll show you a feast. Now, you'll be wondering, why is the familiar doing without oh, its master? Well, by virtue of the hat that my creator bestowed upon me, I am my own master. Yes, yes, you're no ordinary pork, so good for you. Now, I trust you know about the trouble that's afoot. Oh, I more than know about the mass nightmares that have been plaguing the mortals. I already have a suspect in my sights. Truly? My investigation leads me to believe that a certain pixie bereft of color is our culprit. Of late, they have been sighted fluttering about most suspiciously in the vicinity of Legia. Bereft of color. How unusual. Now, this pixie has the ability to manipulate dreams directly without even entering Lameg. With such power, they could seal away the garden's gates completely. What? But to be able to do that, you have to be at least the equal of Titania. You're confused, mortal, and small wonder. But rather than trying to explain it, it would be quicker to simply show you. After all, by keeping company with Weaver, you've already stepped into the place between dreams and reality. Come. Let's go. Do you see that little girl there moaning and muttering in her sleep? The sense of a nightmare pervades her, unnatural in its potency. Please, please give me my back, my doll. It's all I have left of my mother. From what I know, the child is an orphan of Holminster Switch. Though she was adopted, she struggles to fit in with her new family and feels alone. Tell me, mortal, in what times do you experience nightmares? All men are driven by certain needs. When severely deprived of need, their hearts come to, to harbor a void in which torment quickens. 
This tormentus then assumes the terrible forms in dreams and takes root in the dreamer's heart. Trash enough that this little girl lost her mother, her mother, but she also had her doll, her source of Tallis, taken from her by her stepbrother. It is a heartrending tale, yes, truly heartrending. The stinky sweet aroma, I can't resist it anymore. I'm going to look away. Yo, excuse me, friends, it's time for me to do what I do best. Very, very flavorsome. Now the child is free of, free of, uh, what's the matter? That nightmare, it's richer than anything I've ever eaten. Oh, my belly, I think, I think I'm going to throw up. Well, you can't, we'd be back to where we started. Leave that child alone. You, who are you? Judging by Carly, you're not from Lita Laron. Who am I? I suppose an, an lad will suffice for a name. You've, you have lots of power, that much is plain. Are you the one plaguing the children with nightmares? Plaguing? We simply share in each other's misery. That child understands me, understands my loneliness, so I sealed the gate that she might be my friend and mine alone. There's nothing you can do. No mere familiar can remove the dream I've sown. Even if it could, the dream will always return for the child's own heart embraces it. Not good. If she can't break free of the dream's hold, her mind will inevitably be consumed. She would die. What a pain this is. It doesn't bother me so much as what happens to a few mortals, but it does bother me to have our precious garden ruined. I hate to use my powers this way, but I have no an idea. If it's the child's own heart that embraces the nightmare, nightmare then we'll just have to change it. You can bring that nightmare back up, but first we have to get somewhere far away from here. I need your help too. Come on. Why? Why must you torment me? I don't think they're trying to torment you. Now then, for better or worse, you are about to see why they call me the Weaver. Here I go. That was inside me? This is where you come in. Vanquish that nightmare creature. Uh, most certainly yes.
just realized I need to record an ad additional footnote to put on to uh, the stream I just did just a little bit ago. Tokyo Dark is such a heavy, heavy story. And I mean, as is in the title states, it is a very dark and heavy story. Very emotionally demanding. Uh, you could actually pretty much say triggering in, to some extent. So beware. My, you truly are strong. The king chose their sapling well. Now then, your victory will help change the ending to the child's dream. She'll awaken feeling as though she has conquered her fears. Had you not felt that nightmare, would it inevitably find its way back to the child? Excellent done. Right, let's hurry back to Solon and see how she fares. Ease on hide and leave the talking to you. But no matter what what's happening, no matter what your moral or political or any kind of beliefs are, never gives you any right to hurt anyone in any mental, physical, or emotional way. And not only that, but also if you need help for any reason, make sure to get it. Uh, for those who may be suicidal, I do believe there's a new phone line. Um, I think it's 988. Give that a call. Reach out to a friend. Reach out to a family member. Reach out to anyone. It takes a truly heartless person to not want to try and help. If they can't. Huh? Where am I? Did I fall asleep? Thanks for waking me up. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Mother's worried, so hurry up and go home. Brother, I'm sorry. It seems I dozed off. Wait. There's something I want you to know. It's been lonely. I didn't know how to fit in. What to say, what to do. What's this all of a sudden? You have to You haven't so much as spoken a dozen words to us before, much less talked about your feelings. I know I was too scared to, and I don't know why, but I feel I have this courage now to say how I feel. There's one more thing. The doll, it was a present for my mother. She gave it to me so I wouldn't be lonely. Is that the way of it? I'm I'm sorry, I didn't realize how important it was to you. I only meant to tease you is all. I'll give it back, all right? So come on, let's get home together. Seems you've been watching over my sister. Thank you. Please take care and see you again. Hmm, that went rather well, mortals are surprisingly impressionable things. I see, I see. By eliminating the child's nightmare, we would we brought a positive change in reality. Thereby eliminating the void in which her torment resided. Something like that, and Lad appeared to be drawn to the torment in her heart. With it gone, they have no more reason to plague her. And with that, we may begin reclaiming our precious Lameg. No matter what, I'll keep it safe, I promise you, Titania. You've even, you're even more adorable than when confused. For now, let us just say you've done me a great service. By way of thanks, it's only fitting that I invite you to our playground. Come to Leader Lawn and seek out my friend, Thon Soul. They'll show you the way in. Hmm. 
Having played an instrumental part in our success, it goes without saying that I'm invited as well. I don't think that's how that works, but... Eh. Ah, I presume I've been, I've been expecting you. You should know, it's quite risky for mortal to enter the Garden of Dreams. While wide awake, you might not be able to fall asleep ever again. That could be interesting too, I suppose. Anyway, by order of Tear Beck, one of the... <clears throat> esteemed founders of Lameg, I bid you welcome. Welcome, welcome. You stand within an illusory space created by our magics. Normally it's filled with fun things, but it's been empty like this since the gates were sealed off. The gates lead to the dreams of mortals in various regions of Norvrant. You see, they allow us to interact with dreams, to shape them and, rollic, and frolic in them. A sinister magic hangs over the gates, the work of Onlad I shouldn't, shouldn't doubt. So it seems. How did you get in here? Why, well, Thon Soul showed me in, of course, and if you, I weren't your single guest, my cuteness doubtless would have won them over. You're not nearly as cute as you think you are, but alright, you can stay. Now, where was I? Right, with that little girl freed from her nightmare, I sense that the magic over the gate has weakened slightly, but surely. This is because Onlad has lost interest in the girl, I'm sure of it. We should be able to open up one of the gates again, the one leading to Lakeland. I grasp the situation now, but I dare say our mortal friend is confused. Permit me to summarize it for all for her benefit. Has there been mortals across Norman who strongly share their torment and plan nightmares in them? In order to prevent interference, they sealed off the gates to the locales beyond. These mortals, under Onlad's hold, have spread their influence to those around them, giving rise to a phenomenon of mass nightmares. It is quite a mystery indeed. Knowing on last motivation will be the key to our efforts. And rest assured, I shall continue sniffing about the answers. Alright, that's enough talking. Let's do something fun for a change. I'm going to lend you my power. What I want you to do is stand before the gate yonder and reach out to it, while holding on an image of Lakeland in your mind. With that, we're we've opened the first gate. 
We only have a few dream bubbles though, so we can't do much here there yet. The bubbles hold the memories of mortals' fun and happy dreams. They're used to fill our garden with all sorts of delightful things, and we can never have enough of them. On that note, we could still use your help. We went through a lot to reopen the gate. We have to make sure that it stays opened. voice right let's continue this back outside i'll arrange it so you can always return here just let thon soul know whatever you want to come and go i mean i i've got a lot of this unlocked on another character it's really beautiful place really kind of cool so i look forward to doing a lot of the stuff for this Well, there you have it. It's a bit bare at the moment, I know, but we'll collect more dream bubbles and we'll fill the place with fun things again. What are the gates to the other religions? Shouldn't we try to reopen them as well? Or not religions, regions. Oh, we should and we will, but first we need to focus on the ones that's already open. As it stands, Lakeland is still vulnerable to Onlad's influence. In order to keep them and their nightmares away, we must keep the mortals happy by filling the region with lots of fun dreams. So you see, there's so much to be done. Won't you keep helping us so that mortals and pixies can have a place to play together? Huzzah, thank you. Rest assured I wouldn't dream of playing tricks on you after all. I'm a good Titania-fearing pixie. Without further ado, then, let's get to work bringing smiles to the people of Lakeland. For your part, I want you to gather lots of dream materials, items that we can enchant use to rebuild the mag. Lakeland is home to many lonely orphans, so objects that would alleviate loneliness would be ideal. My thanks in advance. I too shall continue my investigation. The pork sea will not hover idly by while stomach-turning nightmares plague the land. And well, that was a uh, Manic Pixie Dream Realm. Uh, we'll be doing more stuff in the future. Hopefully we'll see you either another live stream or uh, another video here on YouTube. Till then, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening.